All right, what's up, guys? So we're going to take a look at some of the top tweaks for the iOS 11.3.1 Electra Jailbreak. Now, these tweaks, again, like my previous videos, are brand new tweaks that have come out within the past couple of weeks, pretty much within the past week since I made my latest video. Anyway, guys, here is my top 15 list. If you guys want a full list and written tutorial, check out the Best Tech Info article linked below down in the description for all the tweaks covered in today's video, as well as their repositories, as well as all of the other tweaks that are currently installed on my devices that I'm not covering in today's video. It's a nice refresher and just an awesome resource to have. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and of course subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. All right, let's get into today's list. All right, so first up, we have better CCXI. So if I just go to the home screen right here, and if I swipe up on the control center, as you guys can see, a ton of stuff is going on right here. It looks way different than what the standard control center would look like. And this is all thanks to one single tweak. As you guys can see, the connectivity platter is more horizontal and elongated right here and skinnier at the top, almost kind of like how uh, iOS 10 was. I really like how that looks. The music platter is also bigger. It comes with a free weather widget, which I think is just awesome. I don't know why Apple hasn't put that on the control center yet, um, but overall, it just looks really sweet. Now, another quick one that you'll notice is called Sugarcane right here which shows you the percentage of your volume rockers and brightness slider right there. So that's a really quick one um, that's pretty awesome as well. So while we're on the topic of Control Center, there's a couple more tweaks I wanted to discuss. The next one's called Foo Gap. It's probably not pronounced that way. You guys might get the joke. Um, but if I go ahead and swipe up on this phone right here, it actually has it installed. And all it does is it removes this space right at the top of the Control Center right there. As you guys can see, it's pretty much touching the top of this phone, and it just makes use of that extra space to show a few more icons here at the bottom. Basically makes the control center as much as full screen as it can, um, and it looks pretty sweet. So that one is called Foo Gap. So very lastly, while we're on the topic of control center, there's one other one that I wanted to show you guys here on my iPhone 10. Now this works for all iOS devices as well. I just have certain tweaks installed on certain devices. Just show you, I just so I can show you guys them as quick as possible. So if I just swipe down here, as you guys can see, all of the background of all the CC platters have been removed. So this one's called Clear CC Modules BG. It basically just removes the background of all the platters on the control center. Even when you go into a platter, it still removes it. Basically, it makes it look more elegant. I kind of like the look of it, but at the same time, I really do appreciate the look of better CCXI as well. Anyway, guys, those are some control center tweaks that I have in today's video. Let's move on to some more awesome tweaks. So next up, we have power down options. So if I just hold down the power button right here on my iPhone 8, as you guys can see, it says slide to power off here right at the top. Well, if I just tap on this little icon right here, now it says slide to respring, and if I just slide, then we have a quick and easy way to respring our devices. Now this is going to lead me directly into the next tweak that I'm talking about. As you guys can see, there's this blue edge going around the entire device right here, and this one is called 3 Edgy 5 Me. And so if I just go into the system preferences right here and then exit back out, it actually will then display it full time on your device until you lock it and open it back up. It only is supposed to do it when you respring your device, so it's not going to be a super annoying tweak, something like you know this one that's going off in the background all the time. It only happens when you respring your devices. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time just to show you guys it one more time. So And right when it respring's, as you guys can see, the animation goes off. I think that looks pretty awesome. It's very subtle. Again, this only lasts for about 10 seconds. There we go. It disappeared. And again, when you turn it back on, it does not reappear only when you respring your device for a few seconds. And again, you can customize all these settings, the color um, and the animation speed and a bunch of stuff like that within the settings pane. All right, so next up we have Home Switcher. Now this is basically an alternative app switcher and you just have to activate it with any activator gesture that you so desire. Right now I just have double tapping on the status bar. But as you guys can see directly on the home screen, we have this awesome app switcher right here. Quickly exit out of apps. And as you guys can see, the app switcher stayed persistently on there when you enter these apps. 
Um, and again, just to dismiss it, you just do the same activator gesture again. All right, so the next one that we have is called Malipo. It allows you to set a custom sound when plugging your device in to charge it. So I actually have a phone right here that doesn't have it installed. This is what the normal charging sound sounds like. All right, and now I'm gonna show you guys what this tweak does. This is what the new sound sounds like. So again, there's multiple sounds that you can choose from. If you go into the settings app, you can set Apple Watch sounds. You can even go back to the original iOS 6 sound, something like this. So lots of sounds to choose from when you plug your device in to charge it. So another awesome one that's brand new, I really like this one. This is a really impressive way to receive notifications. It basically revamps the entire way you receive notifications on the lock screen. So if I just go down, to send a test notification. This is what notifications now look like. These are just a couple examples of what they look like, just going through sending a couple test notifications. I think this looks really awesome. Again, you can just dismiss it. So the next one's called Don't Swipe. Now again, this one has to be enabled via an activator gesture, but it's a really awesome idea that I think is really great for privacy. So say you're gonna show your friend a photo but you don't want them to go swiping around and see all your other photos. Well, with Don't Swipe, let's enable it with an activator gesture and not to confuse it with the multitasking one. But as you guys can see, it's enabled right now with this red bar around my phone. Now you can no longer swipe left or right. You can't even turn your phone off, use the volume buttons. I guess you can mute your device, but really, Almost every gesture that you could possibly do to get around your phone has been disabled, and only this custom activator gesture can disable it and allow you to use your device again. So this would be great to show photos and your device to other people without having them snoop around on your phone afterwards. So another great one that's pretty much brand new is called Silent Screenshot. Now this basically allows you when you take a screenshot for no white flash to come up, there's no sound, there's a little bit of haptic feedback, but really there's no way of knowing that you actually took a screenshot until you go into your Photos app and your recent photos show that screenshot that you just took. So again, that one's called Silent Screenshot, and that one is pretty sweet. So one of the last couple ones that I wanted to share with you guys, this one is called My Device. As you guys can see, it's right up there. I'm just in the Settings app right now under the Settings pane, and you guys might somewhat recognize this tweak. It's basically like a Spring Demise or Spring Plus alternative, but it actually works for iOS 11 to 11.3.1. So pretty much everything you could do in those other tweaks, you can customize almost everything about your device. Um, a lot of settings to configure, and that one is pretty awesome. Again, custom layout, you can disable blurs, disable the dock's background. A lot of different things can be done with one simple tweak instead of installing multiple. So again, that one's called My Device. All right, and next up, this one's a pretty sweet one on the lock screen of your device. Now, the next one is called Hue Passcode. So if I go to unlock my device right here, as you guys can see, there is a red background now behind the passcode right here. Again, we can just enter it or use our Touch ID or Face ID to unlock your device. But again, that one's called Hue Passcode. But again, that one's called Hue Passcode to basically set a custom color behind your passcode keys. All right, and the very last one of today's video is called Bar in Progress. Now on the latest version of iOS 11, there's no longer a progress bar when you send a text message. Well, with this tweak, when you send a text message, there's this blue bar at the top that is now back in action and shows you guys how soon your text is from being done and sending off. So again, that one's called Bar in Progress. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. That pretty much wraps up everything. Those are my top and favorite tweaks that have come out within this last week since my last video. Again, all these tweaks will work on all devices running iOS 11.2 to 11.4 beta 3. Now again, some are paid, but most are free. And if you wanna check out the whole list, written out don't forget to check out the best tech info article linked down below in the description of this video let me know down in the comments section which tweak from today's video was your guys's favorite again thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and if you want to see more videos just like this one don't forget to subscribe but until next time guys this is tony signing out